Hey, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 136. We're going to continue with our charts today, and what we want to do today is make the chart automatically update so that when I drag this, see how my chart changes here, and watch how my months change down here as well when I drag. It's not happening on these charts yet, and that's what we're going to do today. The trick to making these charts automatically update when you change this number or when you change this cell is to use the offset function. If you're new to these videos, haven't seen all of them, or if it's been a while since you've seen the videos in Excel Video 85 and the ones that follow after that, there's a lot of review in Excel Video 85 and then the videos that come after about how to use offset, a lot of details. Today we're just going to use offset to make our charts automatically update. So the thing we need to do is we need to go up in the formulas tab in this name manager. Uh, well, I'll just go here briefly. I've got month collect and month year. These are the two formulas that are driving my charts updating over here. Now what we're going to do is create two new ones so we can make these two work as well. Uh, we could certainly use these formulas again and make these charts update as well. I'm, I'm going to create new names just to show you how to go through it. So the first one I'm going to create Let's, instead of doing um, month, year, we'll call this, um, let's just call this month two. So we're going to call this month two. The scope is how far do you want this name to work? Do you want it to only work on the scrolling tab or do you want it to work every place in the workbook? And I only need it on the scrolling tab, so I'm going to go pick scrolling off the list and it says, all right, what does month two refer to? Well, it refers to this. It's going to refer to the offset function. And what do we want to do? Well, we're going to start with cell A1, and we're going to start up there, and that's our reference. And then the next thing we want to know is, okay, how many rows down do we want to go to make our, our to start the range of months? And it's this cell right here. As many, if this is 14, we want to go down 14 rows and then start. Comma zero, we don't want to change any columns. When we get there, we want our our range to be 12 rows or 12 months and one column wide and we're going to do that and click OK. And th So there's month two. If you want to know if it's going to work come over here and type month two. You can even work, you don't have to worry about the capital O. And see Excel will highlight it for you. Now if I come back here and scroll this to one and then and then come over here and I do month two. Now it's highlighting these 12 uh, rows for me and just one cell wide. So we can tell month two is doing what we want to do. Now what we want to do is when scroll is one, you have to chart those months down at the bottom, but come over here and chart these collection numbers as part of my chart. And so all we're going to do is we're going to do the very same thing as month two. We're just going to go over one and pick that uh, this range right there. So let's do that. Let's go to, I'll just click here and we'll do define name. And what are we going to call it? Let's call it collect to. I don't need it in the whole workbook. I only want it in my scrolling tab. And we're going to come over here and do offset. So where am I going to start? Well, I'm going to start with month two because that's the range I want. From month two, then what I want to do is I don't want to go over I don't want to go down any further, but I want to go over one. So I'm going to go down zero more rows, but over one more column. And call it good. Now if I come over here and I type collect to, that's exactly what I want it to do. And if I come over and make this 24 and type collect to, it's highlighting exactly what I want. So I'm good to go. That's what I wanted to show you today, is just making collect to and month to work with this offset function. Again, there's more detail in Excel Video 85, but that's what I wanted to get through today. Stay tuned next time. Now that we've got these two ranges working, we're going to update the data source for these charts to reflect those new names and keep going. Thanks for watching.